What is up, friend, and welcome to another video all in GarageBand. If you've been following this series, uh, it has been such a fun one. We've been mixing this song. It's kind of like this alive acoustic vocal song. Uh, we did acoustic guitar mixing. We did vocal mixing. We did effects. We did some automation with the effects, and then we ended with mastering. If you haven't watched this series, you definitely should. I'm going to leave... Um, there's a little link that just popped up to the playlist of this whole series so you can watch it. I highly recommend that you watch those first. Um, but I've been getting a lot of comments on how mixing this way inside of GarageBand and, and kind of creating tracks of, of just vocal reverb and delay and slap delay, how it can kind of add up and you can have a lot of tracks in your session. Your computer might be a little slow. So I have a couple ways uh, to show you how to sort of leave some more space on your computer so that you can work in your sessions a lot more freely without your computer crashing, um, especially whenever you get into the mastering process and start adding more and more plugins on the master. Before I get into that, I have made a vocal preset bundle completely free, completely for you, that has over 30 presets that you can load on your own vocals that is EQ, compression, and distortion. Uh, if you have been a little confused on EQ and what to do and how to equalize and make a vocal sound really nice and clean, this preset bundle is for you. Same thing with compression. If you're a little confused on compression, this will help you out, and distortion as well and saturation. Um, especially in today's music, saturation is so important in getting that really nice big sound and a sound that's interesting that your fans and the people that you love that are listening to this will will hear it and love it. And it sounds like it was professional because that's the entire point. We're trying to be professional, trying to make good music and have people like it at the end of the day. So I'm just going to run through a couple presets. This is um, the compressor, just stock inside GarageBand. And once you load these in computer, they show up like this. We've got background vocal settings, rap, pop, um, live video vocal compression, soft spoken. Um, we have a vocal in the room, a bunch of really amazing presets. And all you do is you just you click through these and find the best one that you want. And then we have a bunch of EQ ones as well. Uh, female pop vocal, we've got O vocal, um, soft gospel vocal. So basically how this works is when you sign up for this at celadorsound.co slash free presets, it comes with a completely free training video that shows you how to get these presets to show up here so that you can easily access them, but it also shows you how to manipulate them so they will work for your vocals. Um, presets get a bad rep sometimes because, you know, this is just one setting and, and your vocal may be different, but in this video, I show you what you're looking for and how to change these slightly so that the, your vocal is going to sound awesome. Um, that's the whole point of them. So go grab that at celadorsound.co slash free presets or just click the link uh, in the description and grab it. All right, let's go on to today's video. Let's delete this track. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit of the song just so you can kind of get the vibe if you haven't heard it yet. It's a great sounding song that uh, by my good friend Gideon Dunn, he played guitar and did vocal. Um, same take, uh, ended up really good. Let's listen. You didn't find him tan, hope you find the right man, all that will fix it for you. Yeah. Are you shopping anywhere home? Oh, change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Awesome. So good. Sounds just, I just love this song. He did such a good job on it. So in the past videos, uh, if you've watched them, I, I just have this, I really like to have my vocal reverb on its own channel so I can, I can change the fader position. And same thing with my delay, my slap delay. Um, you can go in and just add it just how GarageBand does this, is you can come over here and turn up the master echo and turn up the master reverb, but it's very limited. The sound that you can get is limited this way, and if you if you use this technique, it, it kind of brings it to the, the way professional mixers mix. They have everything on its own track so that they can manipulate <clears throat> so that they can manipulate it, so they can use automation and create interest interest and build throughout the entire track. The problem with this technique is it starts to add up because we have duplicate tracks of vocals here and all the plugins that we had on our main vocal right here are duplicated on all of these reverb tracks. So that can make your computer run a little slow. Um, it might not be able to handle it. So I'm going to show you a way to 
to get rid of this basically. Um, and it's very, very simple. So what we're going to do is basically when you get your vocal reverb sound and you're really happy with your vocal reverb sound and even your delay, we're going to bounce this track itself out of GarageBand and then we're going to bring it in as its own track. So the first thing that we're going to do is you want to do a save as because you could mess it all up and you don't want to do that. So we're going to go to save as and we're just going to call this um, version 02 um, reverb bounce. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now just in case we mess everything up, we can always go back to our mix to what we had. So I want to take this vocal reverb. This is what I want to bounce out. So I'm going to solo just this vocal reverb. And then I'm going to go down to our master track here and turn off all of our plugins because we don't want this vocal reverb to be affected by our master. We want it. We want just this, nothing else. So if you have, even if you're in the mix process, if you have any cue or maybe just some limiting so you can hear it better, anything like that, you want to make sure all that is turned off on the master track. Very, very important. Now we're going to go to is share. And then we're going to go to export song to disc. Okay. So I'm just going to throw this on my desktop just for ease of this. And we're going to uh, call this um, reverb bounces. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to name this vocal reverb bounce. Sure. And a big thing you want to do is check your settings. So you want your wave here and you want your uncompressed 24-bit right there. All right? So now we are going to click Export, and it's going to create a bounce just as if you were bouncing your song, but because we have vocal reverb soloed, it is just bouncing only this reverb track. Okay, perfect. So now that it, it has bounced, we are going to mute this vocal reverb, and then I'm going to go to my Finder, go to Desktop, here's my Reverb Bounces, and Vocal Reverb Bounce. So I'm going to click and drag this, maybe, there we go, click and drag this into my session. All right, here's our Vocal Reverb. So now I'm going to solo this reverb. We're going to turn all our mastering stuff on so we can hear it and make sure that it bounced. There it is. You can hear it. All right. So now we have our vocal reverb muted. I'm going to bring this up to where that was. And now uh, it should sound just like we had it in the song. Let's listen to make sure. You can find him, tan hole, you'll find the right man, all that'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your head. Perfect. And so now what we can do is delete our vocal reverb, the original track we had, and now we just have this audio in place. And so what that did was got rid of all the plugins that we were on our vocal, the reverb plugin, all that stuff takes up a lot of space on your computer and it, it takes a lot of processing for it to run it. And now we just have an audio track, which is which is awesome. So we're gonna do the same thing to our delays. I'm gonna bounce these together. And this is an, another thing that you can do is bounce a, a bunch of stuff together. So if you have a bunch of delays or even a bunch of background vocals and you have them all mixed and they're sounding good, you can just solo all these out, go on your master, turn the master all off, and then share, export song to disc, and all those tracks are going to bounce down nice and perfect. Um, let's name this vocal delay bounce. And it frees up so much space <laughs> for your CPU. Um, and it allows you to, to kind of commit, commit what you want to do and commit your changes uh, and just mix like you're not thinking about your computer crashing and you're not thinking about any of that stuff. And you can do the same thing with your lead vocal. If your lead vocal is in a really great spot and you're super happy with it, but it's got a lot of plugins and it's kind of loading down everything or even software instruments. If you have pianos, 
um, that have software instruments and you're done with the performance and you're done with the sound, you can bounce that down and, and bring it back in as an audio track and you just saved all that CPU, which is, which is super awesome. So let's bring this back. We're gonna mute our delays, go to our finder. There's my vocal delay bounce. Click and drag, maybe. There we go. All right, let's just solo this to make sure we can hear it and turn on all our mastering plugins. That's the biggest thing is to turn these all on because if you if you don't turn these off and bounce, it's gonna it's just gonna come back super loud and then you're gonna have all these on here again and it's just gonna be double. All right. Perfect. So let's listen to the track. Make sure it sounds right. You didn't find him tan. Hope you find the right man. Oh, he's too dizzy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Since I've come out home, well, my. Yep, those are all there. So now we can delete what we bounced. And look at that. Now we barely have. <laughs> any processing going on here. Our reverb and our delay are both here, but just in audio forms. And then we could even do this to our vocal if we wanted. I can bounce down this vocal. If I had a lot of other tracks and really needed space, I'm not gonna change this vocal because it's it sounds great. So I can, I can solo this, bounce it out and bring it in again and delete my original vocal. And it just frees up so much, so much room. I can't stress this enough. It's just su such a simple technique that, that anybody can do that um, is a really, good space saver as far as your CPU. So hopefully you really enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, definitely put it down in the comments. And don't forget about my free vocal preset bundle. Over 30 presets for EQ, compression, and saturation. This will just help you immensely in understanding EQ and compressor and saturation. And my goal with these presets isn't for you to just grab them and throw them on your vocal and say it's good. I want you to watch the training video and go through and and use them on your vocal and start to manipulate them and it's just it kind of fast tracks your way into understanding eq and compression and saturation um so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i truly hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next week for another one have an awesome day making music an awesome week peace love you